Oh, welcome back to the channel. Today's a pretty exciting day. Fortunately or unfortunately, we had a trolling motor go bad over the winter, so I decided to upgrade my batteries, and I've been saving up and preparing for this for about a little over a year now, and finally pulled the trigger, and I got my lithium trolling motor batteries delivered today, and I wanted to do a quick unboxing of them, and then I'll show, at the end of the video, I'll show them installed in the boat and how I set that all up. Uh, before we get into the battery, I want to thank everybody for the support on the channel. We've uh, recently reached and now are quickly surpassing the thousand sub mark. So we're excited to have surpassed that milestone with the channel and we are working hard to bring you relevant material and different things that we hope you're interested in. If you have an opportunity, please subscribe. If you're not subscribed, and leave us comments on things you'd like to see on the channel. So let's go ahead and unbox the battery and I'll go through a few of the things that I found during my research and what led me to choose the Ionic 100 amp hour battery. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box. I'll set it up here on the desk and uh, you can take a look at it. The beautiful thing about this is, is if this was an lead acid or an AGM 31 series battery, I would be struggling to lift it up out of the box with some type of a handle. And you're going to notice the ionic lithium doesn't have a handle on it. And that's just fine because it only weighs 28 pounds, which is just amazing. The amount of weight you can get out of your boat with lithium batteries is just amazing. So here's the battery. And believe me, guys, I'm not Arnold Schwarzenegger, so I can hold this baby up. No problem. Um, 28 pounds. It has your standard battery posts up on the top you know um, not super exciting as far as batteries go and uh, I can see you can't see that real well in the frame but um, you can see the parts that matter so again it's the ionic deep cycle it's a 12 volt 100 amp hour and I got two of these batteries I'll be hooking those up in series to get my 24 volts for my Ultrax on my uh, Vexus 1980 some of the things that I researched um, when I was finding lithium batteries that you may find interesting is, is that a lot of the guys that are running 36 volt trolling motors are using 50 amp batteries. So they're using three 12 volt 50 amp batteries hooked in series. They're able to get away with the 50 amp hour batteries, I'm assuming because they have three batteries versus two. And a lot of the research I read was is that if you're going with 24 volt, system trolling motor you really want to get the 100 amp hour batteries to assure that you have a full day of hard fishing with your with your trolling motor um, you guys may do some research and find something different but that's what i found and the last thing i wanted to do is go to the expense of putting lithium batteries in my boat and then not being satisfied so i spent the extra money and went with the 100 amp hour batteries um, and again, I've got two of them and I'll be hooking those up in series. Another thing that I considered was I live in central Wisconsin, northern Wisconsin area, and we do fishing in the spring and in the fall and it gets pretty cold. So I was concerned with some of the batteries not having cold weather protection for charging. Almost all of the batteries will operate and discharge down to very low temperatures, but a lot of them will only take a charge above 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And a lot of them don't have circuitry to protect the battery if you hook it up to a charger and it's below 32, which could harm the battery. What I liked about the Ionic is, is number one, it'll charge down to 24 degrees. And secondly, it does have protection built in so that if I hook my charger up and the battery is below 24 degrees, it's going to be protected. So that was a that was a big decision for me in why I chose Ionic at this mid-level price point um, battery. I should mention these batteries are on sale, and I picked these up for six ninety nine um, each. And I know that sounds like a lot of money, but if you look at an AGM, they're well over four hundred dollars for a lot of the AGM thirty one series. And this battery has an eleven year warranty. It's a little, it's not a full out warranty for 11 years. I believe the first five years is replacement. The next three years is $150 for replacement or repair. And then the last three years, they give you 
a code for 30 off to replace the battery. But I, my last batteries that I had, um, the one that went bad lasted about three or four years. So I, three years actually. So I figure if I can get five or six years out of this battery or even eight, it's well worth the added expense. Plus I get the weight out and a lot of the research that I saw, guys were saying they were fishing two days on this battery without charging in normal normal situations where it's not super windy or you're not in a lot of current. So um, some of the other features of this battery, it does come with Bluetooth. So it has Bluetooth abilities that you can have an app on your phone and monitor the voltage of the batteries and where they're at. Not positive that I'll use that a lot, but it's nice to know it's there if I want it. And then the other thing I want to mention is, is if you put these in your boat, you need to make sure that you have a charger that is designed to charge lithium batteries. I have a NOCO four bank charger in my boat. I bought a four bank just for expansion later if I want it. And it has the ability to charge lead acid, lithium, or AGM. Um, it's a reasonably priced charger, has a lot of good reviews. I see a lot of the lithium battery sites are recommending that charger, so it may be one you wanna check out. And it's NOCO is the name of the of the brand and just make sure that you have a charger regardless that will charge lithium batteries. So guys, that's really the unboxing. That's an overview of why I chose this battery and some of the research I uncovered. We're going to go ahead and get these unboxed and we'll get them installed in the Vexus and I'll show you a picture of that when it's all done. All right, well, we got the batteries installed in the Vexus and you'll see the Vexus when they Put the batteries in they have balance in mind so they've got the two trolling motor batteries the way they set it up one of them's in the center one of them's over on the port side and then your cranking battery and your accessory battery is over here on the right so you can see we've got the two ionics over here um, they're hooked in series you can hook them up in series or parallel but in series you double the voltage so we've got the two 12 volt 100 amp batteries hooked up in series so we basically have a now a 24 volt 100 amp battery and then we have our battery charger hooked up this is the noco genius um, tena x4 the gen pro and this is the charger that i talked about earlier and it can charge agm lead acid or the lithiums so what's nice about that particular charger is each bank can charge different types of batteries so I can have a combination like this, or you can have a combination of batteries in your boat with this charger. So I've got one lead acid and two, two lithiums. So I have the lithium bank set the lithium and the lead acid set the lead acid. And then I have an extra bank in case I ever go to a 36 volt. If you look in here, I'll pull this out real quick. So if you look in here, you can see the battery trays that came with my boat held the 31 size batteries and they're significantly bigger than the ionics in the 100 amp so i just took i had some this is pipe insulation for like a one inch pipe you can get it at like ace or something and just fortunately it was the right size and you can see this gap down here in the battery without without that in there it moves around quite a bit and you really don't want your batteries moving around a lot it's not good for them so i just again this is pipe insulation that just happened to fit perfect in here and I just cut that to the to the right length and just press that down in there and now the battery can't it's good and solid you can see I have one over here too um, let's see what else state of Wisconsin check your regs not all states are like this but in the state of Wisconsin if you read the regs and interpret them the way myself and a bunch of my friends interpret them every battery terminal in Wisconsin has to be covered. So if the battery is not in a battery box, then you need to have these battery covers over the terminals. And again, in the state of Wisconsin, it's every terminal positive and negative. Some states I believe are just the positives. So guys, I'm excited about having the lithiums in my boat. Again, I got rid of all that weight. I think in the intro, I said the batteries weighed 28 pounds. I was off a little bit on that. That was the box and everything, the shipping. The actual battery only weighs 26 pounds. So shed a ton of weight out of the boat. All right, thanks for watching. And uh, 
we'll let you know how these batteries work out in a future video.